Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So to jump right in, I'm using this Huda Beauty Matte um, Primer. Um, it mattifies your face so well. I actually really do like it because it mattifies your face, but it doesn't dry it out. So that is, this is like my go-to primer at the moment because for some reason I've just been really oily. So now I'm using the Dior foundation. I'll list down all the shades down below, guys. Um, of the foundation. This is the first time I'm using this foundation, and guys, I've love, I love it. This is. Probably on the same level as the Huda Beauty Foundation, which I always use. So this is full coverage also, so I'm glad I found something that I could use that's full coverage and it just made me just look flawless. So this is the Born This Way um, concealer and I'm using the Kat Von D concealer also. So this first I'm just going to apply the Born This Way concealer and a lot of this concealer guys goes a long way. So I put that under my eyes, my forehead, my nose and also my chin and then I use a Kat Von D um, just to go on top a little bit, just to make it a tiny bit lighter, just a bit of more of a highlight, do you know what I mean? Just a little bit. So now I am literally just um, blending it in with my Real Technique sponge, and don't forget guys to, I found this technique also is really helpful to use like a brush to blend it out also, so there's no, re there's not many really much really harsh lines, so I found that this, this time my, my like my foundation and concealer and my contour just blended out so um, smoothly. So I'm now using the Fenty Beauty um, Matchstick. This is the um, chocolate looking co um, concealer. I love this. It doesn't. It's not called chocolate, but it looks like chocolate, and it's beautiful. So I usually blend it out with my Beauty Blender, well my Real Technique sponge. But I thought let me just use a brush today, and I like the result. And it was cute or whatever. So I'm just blending out my nose contour. So this is the Huda Beauty. Um, powders and I these are like my go-to powders now guys you should try them out okay she got a lot of backlash for some reason I don't know why but the product is good so why not okay it's worth the money so now I'm blending out my contour with the Queen Ebony Bronzer and also the LA Girl um, powder and I literally like to blend both of them out because I find that it just makes me look a bit more bronzy and stuff so now I'm just going in with the same powder just to straighten up my contour line I'm using the Huda Beauty new um, eyeshadow palettes. They are beautiful. I'm using that lovely kind of like dark um, blackberry. Is it blackberry? But like this dark kind of blackberry kind of autumn kind of vibe um, eyeshadow. So I'm using that. I'm just using two colours today, guys. So it is a simple look. I'm spreading that all over my eyelids. And then I'm going into with another palette from Huda Beauty. And I'm using that first like orange shade. And then I'm just going to blend it out also. And then that's it. That's literally the um, makeup look. So now I'm just dusting off all that powder and using my Bare Minerals um, Skin Finish Powder in Dark to Deep. I love that powder. This is my go-to blush, my MAC Raisin Blush. I love that blush. I don't think I'll ever change. And then um, I'm just going in with my Benefits Mascara um, for my top and bottom eyelashes. And then going in the same colour that I use on my eyelids and going under with my bottom lash line. And then I'm using these Coco Amore lashes. I love these lashes. They're so dramatic but yet not dramatic. Like they're not too dramatic. Do you know what I mean? So then I'm going with my MAC Fix Plus spray. And I'm just spraying it all over my face. I find this gives a nice finish and just, you know, dry that off. So now I went in with my MAC lip liner in Chestnut and I'm going in with this lipstick also. I thought this would give you a nice kind of like autumn vibe. I didn't I didn't want to go for nude this time. I thought you know what let me come out of my comfort zone. So now I'm going in with a Huda Beauty highlighting palette and I'm using that second shade and I'm just blending it all over my cheekbones. And that's it guys this is the finished look. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye Mm-hmm.